It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be pairing a bottle of Top Up Brewery's First Ascents Brute IPA coming in at 6% ABV with, I've got a couple of pies or a pudding in a pie. This is Guinness Steak Pudding made by Hollands. Apparently you steam this. Never steamed a pie before. We'll get on with that in a moment. And we've got a Guinness Steak Pie that I can either put in a microwave or put in the oven for 35 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna get cooking, work out how to do this. I'll be back in a moment. I just read the instructions on this Guinness steak pudding and apparently you have to steam it. So, that's why it's in a tall foil container and it's built that way. So it goes into the pan, drop it into the pan well, first of all, put the you've got to put 25 mil. That's an inch in old money. So part of it, maybe a bit more. There's about an inch, inch of water there. You get the pie in the middle. Turn it on. And then you see the steam there, I've already boiled the kettle, see. You just put a plate on and you steam cook the pie for 40 minutes. Let's see how it turns out. Blimey, everything's a bit steamed up after steaming that pie for 40 minutes. Let's take a look at it. I honestly have never steamed a pie before. Oh, let's just, let's just get in and grab it. So, I went with what the instructions said. Here it is. Looks a bit pale, doesn't it? I covered it with a plate in the steaming water. I don't know if they meant covered it with foil, but they would have said that, wouldn't they, surely? So I just presumed to put a plate over the top of the pan and steam it that way. Anyway, that's it. I've already got the, the other pie out of the oven. Steak pie. That looks less than anemic, but it looks quite quite small. Uh, first of all, let's let that all cool down. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. So a Brute IPA, 6% ABV, called First Ascents by Top Out Brewery. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. I do like a Brute IPA. Took me a while to understand this style. really get to know it and adjust to it. Uh, I found it very dry to begin with. We've got a one finger white head, hazy light amber colored beer. Let's get the aroma. Very, yeah, very hazy. But wow, that's chock full of hops. Dry, grape-like, white grape. A little bit of sweetness. It smells delicious. Let's dive in. Cheers. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. That is a really good beer. Loving the dryness. Loving the flavour up front. Lots of grape. Lots of mango. Lots of white grape. It's, it's dry as it's meant to be. Very drinkable. Very refreshing. A little bit of sweetness to begin with, a little bit of bitterness on the back end. I'm gonna there we go. That's the one pie. They were on offer, these were in Morrison's. Again, I've never steamed a pie before. Okay. Right. Let me get some scissors and, and cut this open. Voila! Here we go. Right. Cut the lid off. So this is what we got. I did exactly what they asked me to do. 
on the packaging, which is to steam it. I mean, this one here, that looks like really good. I just want to dive into this one. Mmm. I think it's going to be two conflicting pies completely. This one, got in the oven, got a bit crispy and dry on the outside. Oh, and hot. Whereas this one, I don't even know where to start. I'm just going to... Oh, it's not bad actually. It's held up a bit better than I thought, maybe. At least the steaming inside, inside, I'm not gonna like, give myself food poisoning. Just something I've never ever done before is steam a pie. I know I'm banging on about it a bit now, but I'm really curious about it, I'm really intrigued. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me, oh ho ho ho! I think I'm going to steam every single pie I have in the future. The reason being, very cleverly of course, it's kept the pie, or in this case it's a pudding, really moist. There's the steak, let's, go, let's grab a bit of steak out of this pie. Mmm, good quality steak too. I'm going to be honest, I much prefer the pudding. I was really kind of apprehensive and worried if you like. Although I shouldn't be. Because I used to steam stuff in the army, I used to, thinking about it, I used to yeah, I, I used to steam my food in the army. The tins, the little naff, naffy can things that used to light a fuel block, block underneath and, and you'd have like a three course meal in a, in a foil tin. You chuck that in water, of course. Pairing the pies with the beer. Yeah, the beer's really good. Loads of flavour. It's definitely a Stone the Crows beer. As I mentioned earlier, orange peel, grapefruit, fleshy blood orange. It's dry. For me, a Brute IPA has to be really carbonated and really dry. It is that. And it has this kind of like white grape champagne-like flavour there too, which I think, again, is very Brute IPA-like. Burping back a lot of hops. It's a really balanced beer in terms of there's some nice sweet flavour from the malt and then there's a lovely big hit of hops on the back end with some bitterness. A really good beer and a, and a really good a really good pairing video today. You want to see the weather out there. I went out for a walk earlier, got soaked. This pie was hot earlier, let's uh Look at all that steak in there. Mmm. The question is, Guinness. Yeah, there's a little bit of, I would say Guinness flavor in there. From the meat. Look at that bit of steak there. Ho ho ho. All in all, what I what I'm getting from this is I like the way Guinness are marketing themselves with food, pairing with food companies. Guinness has, has strived for years. Stout meaning strong. They always had them. You've all you all know the really old fashioned kind of Guinness adverts, Guinness makes you strong, that type of thing. 
and they they somehow managed to work that marketing into food guinness strong cheddar which we reviewed the other month guinness sausages guinness pies guinness puddings what else have we had guinness crisps it's all like hearty strong type mental when i say strong i mean like a, like a mental kind of thought of strong stocky strong if you know what i mean this is stocky food isn't it so i think that it, it it works it really does work i see the guinness sausages i buy them i see the cheese i buy it i'll definitely be buying these pies again they were they were they were on offer about they were about two pound a pack 150 one pound 50 a pack so i paid three pounds I got another two in the freezer, another another pudding and another steak pie. And yeah, it's great. It's great. I'll feed some to my kids. This there's, there's some there's definitely some Guinness flavour in the pies. The meat's really good quality. The gravy's really good quality. As I mentioned earlier, that's a really clever idea of, of, of cooking a pie is by steaming it because the pastry stays quite moist putting something in the oven yeah it gets a bit crispy gets a bit dry on the outside so rating what do i think of this beer and food first of all i'm going to do the beer this beer is a fantastic fantastic example of a Brut IPA. 6% ABV, goes really well with the pies and it's full of flavour as I mentioned earlier. That's the Stone the Crows, 9 out of 10. The pie, for me, bit dry, tasty meat, guess some Guinness, is a 7. That pudding thing what a novel idea, I like that, and I like the fact that the pastry's still nice and moist. Not too moist. 9 out of 10. Check out Guinness's pies and puddings, check out Top Up Brewery's Brute IPA. Please put your comments in the comments box. If you like what you see, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers!